Let's take another case study related to costing of uh, transport services. Global Transport Limited charges rupees 90 per ton for its 6 ton truck lorry load from city A to city B. The charges for the return journey are rupees 84 per ton. No concession or reduction in these rates is made for any delivery of goods at intermediate station C. In January 2018, the truck made 12 outward journeys for city B with full load out of which 2 tons were unloaded twice in the way at city C. The truck carried a load of 8 tons in its return journey for 5 times but was once caught by police and rupees 1200 was paid as fine. For the remaining trips, the truck carried full load out of which all the goods on load were unloaded once at city C but it returned without any load only once from C station to A station. The distance from city A to city C and city B are 140 km and 300 km. Annual fixed cost and maintenance charges are 60,000 and 12,000 respectively. Running charges spent during January 2018 are rupees 2,944. You are required to find out the cost per absolute ton kilometer and profit for January 2018. So in this case, three cities are there. City A, B, C. So there is a movement of goods from city A to B, which is 300 kilometers. There is also movement from A to C which is 140 kilometers. It means the distance between B and C is 160 kilometer. And uh, they generally carry 6 ton and for that uh, they charge 90 and for return journey they charge 84. Okay, so no concessions are there. And uh, they are making 12 outward journey for city B. Okay, that goes with full load. It means uh, 6 ton at 90 per ton. But uh, what happens out of this 12, only 10 tons go fully to city B and uh, in that uh, remaining 2 tons, uh, that is out of 12, 10 goes fully to B and remaining 2 of which uh, or, or remaining 2 trips, in that remaining 2 trips, uh, 2 tons were unloaded at C, it means only uh, remaining tons, that is 4 tons made way to city C from city B okay and in return journey they carried 8 tons but what is their normal capacity 6 ton or normally they carry 6 ton but in return journey they carried 8 tons for 5 times the total trip is 12 times right so out of that 5 times they are carrying 8 tons and uh, once they were caught they had to pay 1200 fine also then for the remaining trip they carried the full load that is for the remaining seven trips they carried the full load that is six ton and only once uh, it was everything was unloaded at sea so out of 12 five trips they had eight tons and remaining seven out of seven one trip unloading was done at uh, station c it means uh, all the six trips unloading was done at uh, station a only okay so First, we'll find out what is known as absolute ton kilometer. First, with regard to outward journey. From city A to city B, there are 12 journeys, but out of that, two journeys had some in between unloading at B. So, we'll divide the 12 into 2, that is 10 trips and 2 trips. So, first, we'll take 10 trips. From city A to city B, 10 journeys. It is 300 kilometer and 6 tons were carried. So 10 journey into 300 kilometer into 6 ton is 18,000 ton kilometer. Then the remaining 2 trips okay, or 2 journeys were from A to C then from C to B. From A to C 2 journeys it is 140 kilometer and they carried 6 tons. So multiply all 3 you get 1680 whereas from C to B the two journeys where the distance is from C to B is 160 km, that is 300 minus 140. How many tons they carried? 4 tons. So 2 into 160 into 4 is 1280. So if you add all the 3, you get to know what is the ton kilometer for outward journeys, which is 20,960. Then we'll talk about return journeys. Return journeys 12 will split that as 5, okay, where they carried 8 tons. Then you have 7, in that 7 also, 
uh, six journey they made full back to a whereas in one journey they have unloaded everything at c okay so from from uh, look at this from city b let me pick up here yeah from city b to city a it is five journeys 300 kilometers but they carried eight tons then for remaining seven journeys out of that six journeys also they traveled this entire 300 kilometer and they carried six tons that is the full capacity and it works out to 22800 that is 5 into 300 into 8 plus 6 into 300 into 6 fine then comes the remaining one journey where they unloaded everything at station c that is 160 kilometer 300 minus 150 right 140 right so 160 kilometer where entire 610 was unloaded so 1 into 160 into 6 it works out to 960 so if you total these two what you get 23760 and if you total these two you get total absolute ton kilometer and this is very very essential because uh, what is the requirement in the question you have to find out what is the cost per absolute ton kilometer and profit for january 2018 so now we have got absolute ton kilometer then we'll find out easily what is going to be the cost per absolute ton kilometer it's simple what are the cost information you have there is an annual fixed cost there is a maintenance cost okay there is also a running charge these three are the cost let's capture them calculation of total monthly cost for running track so we'll divide the cost into uh, three types and uh, before that the question wants you to find out cost per absolute ton kilometer and you have information for one month only am i right okay because you have information related to one month that is january whereas uh, the cost are given in annual terms annual fixed cost maintenance charges and running charges and this is given in terms of month it means we have the responsibility to reduce this to monthly level so we have to do that so let's have this table we'll have column for amount per annum and per month first one is standing charges annual fixed cost comes under that 60,000 this is for 12 months then for one month it is 60,000 by 12 it is 5,000 then comes maintenance charge 12,000 is for 12 months for one month it is 1,000 then comes running cost where you have running charges which is given per month 2,944 so you add all the three that is if you add all the three what do you get 8,944 and you already know what is absolute ton kilometer which is 44,000 200 and sorry 720 now we can easily find out what is the cost per absolute ton kilometer which is 8944 divided by 44720 so you get 20 paise simple as simple as that okay but the question also wants you to find out what is the profit you know the cost now find out what is the revenue how you will find the revenue look at this they are going to charge 90 how many uh, journeys were made how many trips were made it's 12 right so uh, 12 outward journey it's with uh, 6 ton at 90 then in return for 5 journeys uh, it's going to be like 8 tons at 84 and for uh, 6 journeys and for 1 journey let's see how it works look at here calculation of profit for the month truck higher charges received during the month let's get started from outward journey there are 12 trips into 6 ton into 90 you get 6480 then from return journey you are going to break it like this 5 trips into 8 ton into 84 plus 7 trips into 6 ton into 84 so this is the point where you have to pay attention because the question says no concession or reduction in these rates is made for any delivery of goods at intermediate station c because uh, in one case in one return okay they have unloaded all the goods at uh, station c which is only 160 kilometer right uh, probably somewhere here you can say uh, it returned without any load only once from c station to a station it means all the goods were unloaded over there uh, but for that uh, no concession that's what uh, we can infer so from return journey it is uh, 
5 trips into 8 ton into 84. So, irrespective of the capacity, this entire 8 ton is captured. Okay, even though their capacity they generally carry 6 tons. And for 7 trips, we are factoring entire 7 trips. We are not breaking this as 6 and 1. We are not saying that it is uh, uh, for 300 kilometers, it is 160 kilometers. Absolutely no. 7 trips we take, it is 6 ton and it is 84. If you total that, that is if you total these two, what do you get? 6,888 and total these two, you get 13,368. Now, from this to arrive at the profit, let us deduct the monthly running cost. Uh, we know the monthly running cost already we have calculated, which is 8,944. Okay, so I think we should put that over here. Let me put that. Yes, here we have it is 8,944 and uh, let me also detect this uh, fine paid for overloading of 1,200, right? So, when I do that, that is uh, this fine paid for overloading, let me put that here, this 1,200 also I am going to park here. Okay, these two are deduction items. Let's uh, let's be clear about that. They are basically deduction items. Fine. So this is uh, income. Okay, so these two are income. Let me just see. Okay, I cannot break that. Fine. So these two are deductions. Why? Because this is monthly running cost and this is the fine paid and deduction item. So, let me put that over here. Fine. So, this 10,144 is nothing but sum of these two. To segregate that probably I will put a small line over here. Okay. Basically to indicate it is sum of these two items. 13,368 minus 10,144 gives you 3,224 and this is nothing but profit earned for the month. So, we have answered that as well.